If you are looking to build a live updating cryptocurrency portfolio tracker in Excel, then look no further. We're going to go through the process of building out a tracker that looks just like this, where you can put in all of your different cryptocurrencies, how many of them you own currently, what the current prices are, what you paid, and then your gains and losses in totality versus just today on all of those different positions, you'll be able to do all of that right in Excel and you're also going to be able to make some pretty cool graphs that are going to be able to show your portfolio holistically in terms of where you've allocated your money as well as where you have suffered your losses and benefited from your gain so let's get started now let's go ahead and type the names of our columns into the sheet I already put these in because I didn't want to make you have to sit there and watch me do it but you can go ahead and type these in yourself and then once you've typed them in you can highlight over all of them and hit bold and then we can also go to the wrap text here and then we'll hit center here and center here so we've got them nicely formatted and then above it we can add a little title to everything where we'll just highlight this whole area hit merge and center then we'll throw a nice little blue background behind it right here and then we'll type in crypto portfolio tracker there we go and then you can bold it by hitting bold there and I'm gonna throw a border around that like this and so now we have all of our column headers let's start off by returning some currencies let's start off first by assuming that you own a position in Bitcoin so what we can do is type BTC USD and then this is going to assume that you have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription. So if you do, we can go over here into data and then while we have this cell selected, we'll hit stocks. Now that is going to go ahead and figure out that we're looking to convert Bitcoin to USD. So how many USD is a single Bitcoin worth? You could do this for the British pound or the Canadian dollar or different currencies like that. In this video, I'm gonna stick exclusively to USD. Let's also assume that we hold some Ethereum and we wanna see what that is priced in USD. So I'm gonna type ETH USD and then I'm going to hit stocks again. So we've found both. So now Excel recognizes both of these. Before we go any further, I wanna add some functionality that's gonna make all of this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna highlight over all of this, and then I am going to go over to insert, and I'm gonna hit table. And I'm gonna say, yes, my table has headers, and I'm just gonna hit okay. And I don't really like how all of this looks, so what I'm gonna do is hit this arrow right here, then I'm just going to go to clear. So it's going to clear out all of that weird formatting. And then I'm gonna basically make some of these a little bit smaller just so we can get everything back on the same sheet again. All right, uh, I also don't really like how it added the filters now, so I'm gonna highlight all those, go here, sort and filter on this home tab, and then just click filter to get rid of those. The reason that we made it a table format is it's going to make everything easier going forward, and it's gonna help us automatically update our table in the future. So let's go ahead and add the price. So all we're really gonna need to do here is create a formula where we go equal to, then we're gonna select the currency pair we're looking at, and then we're just going to hit period, and then we're gonna type in price and hit enter and so that is going to go all the way through and so you'll see that I added a third row here where we didn't have anything to this table so if we don't want to see these little broken errors right now we can just go ahead and right click on this and delete that so now we're gonna put in our number of coins that we own for each of these so let's just assume that we own half of a Bitcoin and we also own 10 different Ethereum's. so now we can go and calculate what is the total value of this position. Well, that's just going to be equal to the current price multiplied by the number of coins that we own. So there we go. Let's hit enter there. 
and we can see we own 49,000 of Bitcoin and about 27,000 of Ethereum. So this is where we would put in what we paid per coin. So if you bought everything at the same time, then it's easy. You can just go into whatever brokerage or app you use to buy it and figure out what you paid per coin. If you bought them at separate times or in different apps, you'd have to basically do a weighted average to figure out what was the weighted average price you paid per coin. I'm not gonna go into depth on that right now. So let's say that our Bitcoins we bought for $60,000 and our Ethereum we bought for $4,000. I'm gonna make this into the uh, currency format real quick. There we go. Now we can figure out what is the total cost that we paid for these positions by just simply taking the number of coins that we own and multiplying that by the price that we paid per coin hit enter there. And so we see we spent 30,000 on our Bitcoin, 40,000 on our Ethereum. Now we can figure out what is our total gain or loss on these positions since we purchased them. That is just going to be equal to the total value that they are currently worth minus the total cost. So we see we're up 19,000 on the Bitcoin and we're down 12,000 on the Ethereum. Now let's figure out what was our total gain or loss each of these positions in a percentage form. Well, that's just going to be equal to our total gain or loss divided by the amount that we spent on them initially, the total cost. And we'll see that we are up about 64% on the Bitcoin and we are down about 32% on the Ethereum. I don't like how this looks. I'm gonna turn it into a percentage and I'm gonna add a few decimal points there. Now let's look at our daily gain or loss on these positions, which is just going to be equal to, we'll take the currency value here and then we're going to hit period, and then we'll type in change. And we see change pops up there. So if I hit enter, now we'll see we lost $69.56, or we gained $69.56 today per Bitcoin. So that's how much the price of Bitcoin went up today. That's how much the price of Ethereum went up today. But we don't own one Bitcoin. We only own a half of a Bitcoin. So let's multiply this by the total number of coins that we own. So multiply by this cell here, number of coins and hit enter. And we also own, you know, 10 Ethereum. So this formula automatically updates for both. So we're up to date right now. Now let's figure out what is our daily gain or loss on each position in percentage terms. So now we can just take equal to, go hover over that currency, hit period, and then we'll do change percentage. So I'm going to double click that and hit enter. So Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin is up 0.1% today while the price of Ethereum is up 0.06% today. So one thing I want to do to make these values pop a little bit more is I want to add some conditional formatting so we can see whether we're up or down. So I'm going to highlight this whole range here and I'm going to go actually two rows below and you'll see why in the future. So I'm highlighting all four. Then on the home tab, I'll go to conditional formatting. I'm going to go to highlight cell rules greater than I'm going to put zero here. So for everything that's greater than zero, I want something to happen. And I'm going to go to this custom format right here. And in this font tab, I'm going to go, I'm going to grab this nice dark green. I'm going to hit OK and OK. So now all of the cases where we're up, we're going to see a dark green. Now we'll go back to conditional formatting while we still have that highlighted. We'll do less than we'll go zero. And then we're just going to hit red text right here and hit OK. So now we're going to be able to really easily see where we're up or down on any given day or over time. Now let's take a look at the 52 week highs and lows. This will give us a little in indication of basically where the current price falls relative to what we've seen over the past year. So now we can hit equals and we're going to go all the way over to this currency again, hit period, and then we'll type 52 week and we'll just select 52 week high, hit enter. And then we see this option for 52 week low here. So let's do the same thing, equal, and then we'll hit a period here and we'll just select that 52 week low. So now we've seen their whole range. The one thing I noticed with some of the currencies is that these 52 week highs and lows aren't always accurate. Like Bitcoin definitely didn't go to 231 in the last year. It was never that low. So I would say that you should not trust these values blindly. I think the 52 week high is accurate, but definitely not the 52 week low. So now let's also, one thing that I think would be a value add is to 
put in what brokerage the currency is held in, right? So you might have them in different places. And so this, the idea of this tracker is like to have one central place where you can see everything. So let's say that we had an interactive brokers, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, and then some in Coinbase. So let's put those as the brokerages for now. Okay, so we've got sort of a good build out of, let's say just these two positions. And now we want to see some holistic views of this portfolio. So let's have a new row that's total and let's just make sure that that is bolded. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just grab this whole table like this and add a thick outside border to the whole thing to make it look better. And then I'm gonna go highlight this as well and add a thick outside border to the whole thing. Now let's go through and add some total portfolio value that I think will be useful. So let's equal a uh, sum right here. So we wanna find out what is the total value of our whole portfolio and hit enter. So right now it's worth $76,000. Then let's add a new value where we sum the total cost. So now we know we spent originally 70,000 on crypto. Now let's go and add our total gains and losses over time. So this is just going to be equal to, and we can find it as this total value minus the total cost and hit enter. So we can see we gained you know, 19,000 on the Bitcoin, lost about 13,000 here. So net we're up about 6,000. Now let's see what's our total gain or loss loss percentage over time, which is just going to be equal to the total gain or loss dollar value divided by the amount that we had originally spent, which was the total cost of the whole portfolio. So we can see we're up about 9.16% total on our whole portfolio. Now let's go ahead and look at the daily gain and loss for the whole portfolio. So let's just sum the whole thing. So there we go. And then we can also get the daily percentage gain or loss, which is going to be equal to this daily gain or loss dollar value divided by, and then we're going to have to grab the total value and then subtract that daily gain or loss dollar value right here. Now, the reason is, is because we're basically taking what we gained or lost in the day and then dividing it by the amount that we started with at the beginning of this day. Now let's hit enter. So we're up 0.09% on the day. So I think all of this looks pretty good. And now what we can do is we can see how this sort of updates. If let's say now that we've got everything built out, we want to insert a new position into the portfolio. So let's say we just got a Bitcoin cash. So let's do BCH USD because BCH is the ticker for Bitcoin cash and I'll hit enter. So now most of this stuff loads in. Now we really just have two columns or I guess three columns that we need to fill out. So we need to fill out how many of the coins we own. Let's say we bought a hundred coins and let's say that we bought those 100 coins for a price of $250 each. Boom, now everything has updated for our total portfolio. And let's say uh, we bought it in the interactive brokers uh, brokerage, boom. So now we have our whole portfolio tracker pretty much set up. There's some things we can add that will add a little bit of value in my opinion which I think I wanna see a pie chart that's going to show us uh, how much we own of each currency, basically proportional to the others. So I'm gonna grab and highlight this column. Then I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and grab and highlight this column. Then I'm gonna go over to insert. Then I'm gonna to go to this pie chart here. Then I'm gonna grab this 3D pie chart. So now we can see out of our whole portfolio how much we've allocated to each thing. I'm gonna change this title to crypto allocations. And then I'm gonna grab the whole thing, select the whole thing, I'm gonna hit Control B to bold everything. Then I'm gonna go up here to increase the font size so we can see the positions a little bit better. And then I wanna add another graph that is going to show us basically what is our gains and losses look like. So I'm gonna grab this column again and then I'm gonna hold Control and I'm gonna highlight over this total gains and losses column here. Then I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna to go to recommended charts and I'm gonna grab that first one there and hit okay. Now I don't like how this one we can't see it. So I'm gonna double click on that. I'm gonna go over to labels here 
and then instead of having it next to the axis, I'm gonna go below the axis. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna hit Control B on the whole thing to highlight it, and once again, I'm gonna make the font a little bigger so we can read it better. And now we'll see exactly where our gains and losses are coming from on our whole portfolio. And if we want to update this data live in real time, we can hold Control Shift and then hit F5 to get the refresh of the prices at any given time. And then also, if you're curious about seeing what might be that I found the lowest crypto fees, you can go to this link, which I'll put in the description and the pinned comment that allows you to make purchases or sales for very cheap. And you can also go to the link in the description or the pinned comment to download this tracker for free where I've included a button that you can just click to go see these pretty cheap fees that you can trade with using this brokerage service. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more just like it. Thank you.